I'm Jessica. <clears throat> Welcome to the Jess Project. <clears throat> and I am here going to do a card and it's going to be a um, peekaboo punch card. And it's pretty simple. And I'm going to use Sweet Song Birds and that punch that punches out the bird as well. So to start off, I've got a pile of stuff here that I already cut. But the card is four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half. And then I've got a piece of one and a half by four and a quarter. And I've got two pieces of glimmer paper that are one quarter by four and a quarter. I'm going to punch that out with this Label Me Lovely punch. I'm gonna punch a hole in the front. And I'm gonna have a bird popping through. And on the inside, I'm going to put a piece of white that is four by five and a quarter. And also I've got a piece to do a label and some embellishments for it. So let's put that together. There's the inside piece. And I'm going to stamp a branch on there with um, soft suede. And put it towards the edge and towards the bottom. I can punch my hole so that it looks like the bird is sitting on the branch. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me, my throat is all grooving me tonight. <coughs> and then I've got some leaves from that scent, and I'm doing this part of Parakeet Party, so I will use Parakeet Party for these leaves which are going to go off the card anyways. So just figure out how I want to stamp those. Good. Now I want to do my bird into his tie. First, actually, I'll Side. This is gonna say we've got something to celebrate. And I'm gonna make sure that it doesn't show through the hole, so I'm gonna do it a bit over to the side there. Okay, now bird. I've been meaning to make a template so I can get this in the right spot. But I haven't done that yet, so that I can punch the wing and the bird at the same time instead of trying to get it lined up afterwards. Where's my birdie? Oh, here he is up here. Okay, so... Bird there. Pieces. Okay, so I'm gonna use this big wing. This little wing might look okay on the other bird, but I think it's a bit too small for this 
birds, so I'm just gonna leave that to the side. And where'd my wing go? Okay, there's my wing. I'm gonna try to line this up as best I can. <laughs> So this is why I want to make a template so I know where to stamp them right off the bat. And then I can use my stamp apparatus to make sure it gets lined up. Let's see how that turned out. Um, pretty good. And I'm going to use this Mango Melody marker and just color in this beak. dot of glue on here. I think that was too much. Too much, too much. Put my beak on there. Okay. Now let me put these pieces together. Side of the card. glue again for these pieces. I want these all to be over towards the left. I'm just going to leave a bit of space. that up just so I don't accidentally cut the wrong part. I want this to be this direction. So I'm going to line it up. Try to line it up with the edge there. Just a tiny bit up from the bottom. different ways I've seen this done but because I want the bird to look like it's sitting on this branch on the inside I'm not going to use this piece because you could use this piece and you can put it on dimensionals and then you can decorate this piece 
but it's actually attached back here. But as you can see, it wouldn't really look that great with my branch idea. So I'm not going to use that right now. I forgot that I was going to put this on the inside of the card. Give it a little bit extra. But I needed to trim that down. Forgot. Now it is going to be a little bit messy. Here we go. So now I want to make the bird. On the front. Just going to put some little tiny feet there. It's not really going to show much of the feet, but just put that there. Let's see how that looks. made my branch a little bit too high. Let me put some dimensionals on my bird. Just need to make sure we're going inside the punch. So it doesn't get caught. Should have moved it over a little bit. Didn't get it quite right. But you get the idea. And then I've got the wing to put on. Just put a little bit of glue there because it's going to hang off a little bit. There we go. And I need to stamp this piece. And for this piece, I want to do some music notes and a little bird told me. So I just got this little scrap here that is um, about half an inch, maybe a little bit bigger. Some notes, and then a little bird told me. Take my scissors and I'm just going to create a little banner end just by cutting a little slit in the middle and then going from the corner to that slit. Honestly, I'm not the best at doing that, but it's a little bit easier than getting a punch or something. So there's our little greeting label. And put that up on dimensionals as well. One, two, three.
And I want that to go up here. Ish. And I'm going to use some of these dots to decorate. I want this one. <laughs> and that's it. So here is that card. I did those pretty much the same way. And here's another one that I made. Slightly different, but still pretty much the same. Inside. I used a different punch. You could also use a, a die to cut that out, whatever you like. Pretty easy. And I hope you enjoyed this video and it'll be helpful to you. And I hope to see you next time as well. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.